Hey folks, Ford RC here. Today we're looking at tyres for your scale trail trucks, specifically uh, tyres for 1.9 class, that's the 1.9 diameter wheels, and uh, really we're focusing on Pitbull Rock Beasts today, but I will take you through some other tyres that I've been experimenting with. Why are we looking at Pitbull Rock Beasts? Uh, because they have been my kind of go-to tyre for quite a long time. Uh, this is the original version of the 1.9 Pitbull Rock Beast and uh, they are just a fantastic tyre overall um, for a whole bunch of different terrains. Obviously they excel in rock but they're pretty good on sort of wet loose stuff as well um, and I've been using them on quite a few different rigs and very happy with them. So why have I got all these other things here? Well the only thing I haven't liked about Pitbull Rock Beasts is their size. Um, they aren't the tallest of um, class 2 tyre you can get. So I have been dabbling with um, things like this. This is a, uh, from RC four wheel drive. This is a, a Baja Claw TTC tire. And as you can see, uh, it's quite a bit taller. This is right up on the, the limit of class two, uh, 120 millimeters tall compared to your Pitbull Rock Beast, which is kicking in around 4.5 inches, about a, just over 110 millimeters. And the reason for that is these lift your axle up slightly higher. So the pumpkins off the ground a bit more, you get a bit more clearance. So I have been swaying from the beaten track a little bit and um, what's going on with these you may be thinking yes I have been cutting the lugs off as well um, just to try and uh, experiment with grip now I have been finding with these that uh, the tread standard tread pattern is a little bit too closely spaced and they can sort of skim over stuff whereas if you cut off every outer lug the small ones not the thick ones you get a bit more uh, pick up things can actually get in the gap and, and hook up I've even been trying them round the wrong way and driving like that and they seem to work even better. So my um, my tyre I have been switching to from the Pitbull Rock Beasts for most terrain has been these TTCs, running them with the tread in reverse pattern and also um, clipped. And inside I've been using some um, Crawler Innovations foams, the little Nova ones. Um, I have tried some juices, uh, double juices, they're, they're the solid closed cell foams, but they're just a bit too firm for my competition rig. Uh, you guys haven't seen this, he says, reaching over. Um, my Rubicon is still around, but I'm using it as a trail truck now. Um, I've built a new class two very lightweight competition rig, I'll talk about it in another video. Um, but on that I've been running, as I say, these uh, Baja Claws which are great for most things, particularly in like mud and loose stuff. They These sort of paddles here, they just scoop and, and grip really well. However, on some stuff like rock, wet rock, Pitbull Rock Beasts are still better. So I've been in this situation where I've got two tyres that I like. Uh, if I know a lot of rocks going on, I use these. Uh, otherwise, I'll, I'll use the claws. But the claws are taller. I prefer that for clearance on the pumpkin. Um, so, okay, there are my two tyres. Great. Well, what have Pitbull done? Well, they've brought out the Rock Beast XL. So this is essentially a Rock Beast, as we've known before, but it's just bigger. Now, we're at the back end of uh, 2016 now. These have come out recently, and um, I've had to get these shipped over from the States. I've got these ones from RPP Hobby, yeah, available from other shops, but you can't get them in the UK and elsewhere right now. Availability, I guess, will get better. Anywho, what have we got? What's the difference? So I just wanted to show you these close up because a few people have been showing these but not in detail. Here's a standard 1.9 Rock Beast. Here's the 1.9 Rock Beast XL. Uh, slightly different compound. They call it the uh, the, the Alien compound. And you can see the, the dimensions here. These are right on the height limit for Class 2. 4.75 inches, 120 uh, millimeters in height. So obviously the first thing to see is that the, you know, they are significantly taller. Also, interestingly, they are quite a bit wider. Um, you know, you've got a good, probably about five mil extra width. And if you look at detail on the tread pattern, um, you've got like a, a large lug, a, s a small one, and then you've got these stars. Um, the stars themselves and the lugs and the spacing between the lugs is all just a little bit larger. We're talking about two to three mil, depending on which feature you're looking at. Everything's just a bit bigger. It has grown significantly. So you're lifting your pumpkin up a little bit higher. Obviously, maybe you want to solve things a different way, maybe portal axles or with a new SCX-10 2, your pumpkin's smaller anyway. So maybe, you know, a standard height rock beast would be good. Maybe you just want maximum clearance. So let's talk about foams for these tires. So with the um, old school standard Pitbull rock beast, I've been using uh, Crawler Innovations foams. They're little Nova ones. Uh, 
like this. These are a dual stage foam, so you've got your closed cell inner and then uh, uh, open cell outer. I use the soft on the front and the medium on the back. That's soft and medium of this part, always the same inner. Uh, and it's the 4.5 height one. And in these, these work absolutely fantastically. Uh, you get a bit of compliance around terrain using the outer part of the foam, but then for side hilling, where you don't want your tire to kind of crush over, the firm inner really holds that tire nice and straight and it won't roll over. So these are great foams. So on the Rock Beast XLs, they actually come with uh, a much firmer foam than you get from most manufacturers, certainly a lot firmer than the old Rock Beast. Now this is a, a single stage, it looks like it's an open foam to me, so obviously water could be an issue with that, but it is really quite firm. Now if I compare this to, this is a 4.75 height little Nova, medium, uh, which I'm going to be putting in uh, my Rock Beast XLs for rear tyres. Now if I push these together, you watch what happens when these things squash. Now obviously the first thing that happens is the outer on the little Nova just dies straight away. So the outer stage here is a lot softer, so you're going to get more compliance on rocks with this bit. But then this is really interesting. Watch the inner of the two here as I push them together. Now you can see that <laughs> actually we're getting quite a lot of flex from the inner on the um, little Nova. I was surprised. You know That really goes to show you how firm this open foam is. It's not quite I mean, it's almost as firm though as the the closed cell on the little Nova. So this Pitbull foam is jolly firm. Um, if you've got a heavy rig that might be great but I'm looking at competition tyres here. I do not want a foam that firm. It's just not going to let the tyre conform to terrain with a light rig. So for me I'm going to be running the um, medium compound little Novas on the back and the softs on the front. Also just to mention on these ones, uh, these are the comp cut version. The difference here is that um, on the closed cell inner, you see they've got little scoop outs here. This gives a bit of space to allow the outer open foam to sink down more. The standard cut ones are completely flat. Comp cut means that you've just got these cutouts here. And also, if you're going to be really anal about this, you might notice that one face is completely perpendicular, it's a right angle, and the other side is rounded off. So you've got an option there of do you want to run the rounded off on the outside or the inside of your wheel, what do you prefer? Do you want it to be able to roll over slightly or do you want a, a real hard stop? It's really up to you on that. For me, I'm running the 90 degree on the outer um, because I don't want my tyre rolling over at all. So that's the foams we're going to run and uh, let's just give you some size comparisons overall. So kind of going through time, we've got the uh, standard and I'll show you these with nothing in so there's no foam stretching these out here's your old pitbull rock beast and your new one detailing on the tire walls pretty much the same as before compound is very slightly stickier and you can see the height difference and interestingly the slight width difference as well so this is just a bigger beast but what's over here i just thought i'd pop this in just for information this is a pitbull rock beast 2 don't get confused, so we've got a Rock Beast, Rock Beast XL, and a Rock Beast 2. A Rock Beast 2 is a 2.2 tyre, so this is for class 3. <laughs> you can see um, this is just dwarfing everything on the class 2 one, unsurprisingly. But uh, just FYI, class 2 there. So. There you go, that's some real quick information about the new tyre that's out. Um, I think this is going to be an amazing Class 2 tyre. Um, I haven't run it yet, but I know it's going to be awesome. Uh, I've washed these just to get the release agent out of the moulds. I'm going to be sticking them on my rig and doing some competition driving soon. And I will let you know how I get on in a future video. hope that was useful. Any questions or comments as usual, please post them below. Thanks for watching.